Hi there. Jim Larson. Jim Larson Designs. Uh, this is a video a long time in the making, and this boat has been in existence for quite a few years now. But um, the last time I had it out for photos, I didn't bother to take a video. So I'm trying to be careful here of all the rocks. She's five feet long. She's almost four feet tall. And she's got inside that porthole is a room box. There's an 18 inch room in there, which I won't show you today. It's been seen. Uh, it's very neat. It, it just, it's not gonna show up in the sunshine. Um, there's a lot of details and a lot of things that people haven't seen about the boat. Excuse me while I stumble and fall. Um, everything on it just about is homemade. Um, the flag there is hand painted. I couldn't find a British flag or Union Jack when I wanted one. All of the little flags that you see blowing there, the, the uh, nautical flags are all made from a chopped up windbreaker. All the rigging is my work, my design, just kind of making stuff up. The spiral stairs, which kind of hide here, they get you from the main deck up to the second deck. Kind of proud of those. The steps themselves aren't much, but the handrail is three pieces of laminated wood, um, steamed and bent to make that shape. Um, the canvas here, that's a mead notebook cover that I drilled and put all of the eyelets through. Um, the oars uh, I made just on a drill. Um, this lifeboat here, hanging here, um, is all handmade, all hand formed and everything out of pure resin. There's two life rings on board here on the front. They're made out of wood. Um, the deck and the hull are all wood. And I'm sorry this isn't showing up as good as I want it to. The sun's a little bright. It's awfully funny how um, everybody swears up and down it's made out of 42 different things. The back half of the hull was formed with the roundness and everything was formed by hand with resins. There's a uh, plywood box in the center and then the front of it was made with, uh, believe it or not, and I was running out of wood and I broke apart my cedar fence to form the front. It was uh, kind of panic time when I ran out of the wood on a weekend where I couldn't get more. I did the... Uh, the bench on the front goes all the way around. Um, the lights here, the port and starboard lights I made, as well as all the courtesy lights down the bow. Uh, the rigging, the oars up above here, you'll see the man overboard hook. Uh, that's all handmade stuff. The stacks are recycled uh, sewer pipe from a Victorian remodel I did some years back. And here you see more of the rigging and the horn and um, up on the flag. Um, KK stands for Nutcracker, uh, which was the original name of my business. Um, I was glad to keep that on there. The little burgee pole and all that, there's a light inside of that. There's, uh, there's lights here in the searchlights next to the crewman. Lights in the port and starboard. Lights up on the stacks. Uh, midway and top um, All told the thing has roughly 60 lights on board Every one of the portholes both on the decks and down below on the hull are all have uh, Light behind them and they come on uh, as well as the, the larger windows of the cabin and the passengers uh, space down below light comes out of there at night it's a massive night light um, you can turn on the outside lights by turning one of the acorns and you can turn on the inside lights by turning the other one and again I, I really am not gonna be able to show you inside it's been seen before again this is just a video I wanted to get made um, with the nice weather I've been waiting it's uh, I broke nine drill bits drilling all of the those are real nails and I'm gonna let everyone in on a secret that I don't show those are real nails down inside there 
Um, most people never get to see that, but uh, nothing to hide. I broke nine drill bits putting those in there, and I had to drill them by hand. There's over 4,000 of those just in the black portion of the hull. The ones on the white are glued on rivets, uh, no more nails. And the reason, the, the original idea here was to complete the whole boat. But I, I neglected to work on this side only because I started putting so many nails into the hull that it began to separate. Uh, this wood was not meant to have 4,000 nails in it. It just, it just won't take it, even though I pre-drilled and measured and all that. So I get asked a lot about the dolls. Everyone's totally excited about the dolls. And, and I find that really funny. I, this was kind of a, I had no idea. This was the first thing I ever made. And I really had no idea what I was doing and I didn't have a budget. Um, so I made everything. That fat man back there, he's a $3 doll. I put a beard on him, stuffed a bunch of stuff in his shirt, stuffed a bunch of his pants, I gave him a cane, uh, you know, everything to make him fat. Uh, this doll here in front, waving, I put the handkerchief in her hand, and she was given to me with a broken leg. She only had one leg. Um, this young woman here, in the blue is a kind of a complete redo. I stripped her down and rebuilt her, added some cloaks, painted the hats, painted her face, added to her blonde hair. Uh, the gentleman next to her, I added the monocle and added the vest, um, added some spats down here. Uh, the waiter was a completely different guy. He was in a three-piece suit. I fixed that. Um, here's another two or three dollar doll. I took her apart, completely redid her entire uniform, repainted her. Um, these, this couple, uh, more of a Danish look to them. Um, complete rebuilds from the tall boots to the tall hat to the her dress is all handmade. I, and I say that tongue in cheek, the dress was there. I just painted it, changed the colors, added ribbons, etc. She's like a three or four dollar doll. This little guy I'm really proud of, um, he's a store-bought doll that you can find over and over again in many, many stores. Very famous. I can't forget his name. Um, I completely tore him apart, stripped him down, got rid of his clothes, put different clothes on him from a different doll, and then painted the, uh, the Danish naval uh, uniform on him. Um, another two or three dollar doll I put the gloves on the parasol I made from scratch it's just resin and lace put on a brass rod um, drilled through her hand uh, her escort is a military man um, with the, I made the he was a cake topper the, the white sport coat with the pink carnation um, I completely changed him uh, he's got a sword here on the side um, he's got the epaulets on the shoulders and the forge, uh, the double-breasted military, just stuff I'm making up as I go. The crewman on the top of the ship is a, uh, I'm kind of proud of this guy too. He was, he was a three-piece suit guy and um, anybody who knows the doll will recognize the handkerchief that's on him. But I changed him into, uh, made the hat for him, made his uniform, um, gave him the naval pants, the different stance, cut and moved his arms, so forth. Uh, this captain, I really didn't want to look like Captain Smith. Uh, it just kind of worked out that way. But I'm really proud of him because he is the same doll as this gentleman. It's the exact same doll. I just bought two of them, changed his uniform, changed his jacket, gave him a beard, changed his hat, gave him a coffee mug, and I don't tell many people this, but I cheated on the height a little bit. S just so that the, the ship didn't get too big or too tall. So he's actually cut off at the knees, but nobody knows it until I show him. Shh, don't tell anybody. 
the old the older couple here uh, everyone's waving bon, bon voyage and and there's the missus on the bench she's got her her fancy dress on and uh, her traveling clothes very happy to be taking a trip and uh, he's waving goodbye uh, I didn't do a thing to him but throw a hat in his hand and uh, the little kid in the back, I don't know, he's being a brat or something, I don't know. So, um, the anchor is, uh, it's just all handmade, it's all, it's all wood. All the flukes and everything on it are all wood. It's broken about four or five times, I've had to repair it. And, um, it was a lot of fun to make. It was one of the first things I ever made. Uh, actually, it was the fourth I ever made. Uh, in Minus the three small lamps I gave away as gifts. And uh, maybe, I, <laughs> maybe I'm kind of milking it here. Uh, like I said, this has been around for a while. Um, it has been seen. It's won some awards. Um, but it's very, very striking. And I get lots and lots of comments on it. And I just wanted to share this uh, through a video. I, there's a lot of people that just don't get to see it all. So um, there you go. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.